But how did you ask Isabel McNulty to homecoming? Well, when I was thinking of how I was going to ask her, I just thought of things that she liked. And so I knew that she liked the show The Bachelor. And so I already know, knew a little bit about it from my mom because she watches it. And so I decided that I was just going to get her some roses and then write on a poster and an envelope and just give it to her and say, will you accept this rose at homecoming? Were you nervous at all? No. Stone Cold Killer. How it feels to be going to homecoming with the varsity quarterback? Uh, it feels pretty good. All right, so excited, looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. So, Nick, how did you ask Elise to homecoming? So, what the Blue Crew does before the games is we run the flags. And so, we were running the flags, and we were coming around, and then when we were done and we got in front of the student section, we had signs set up, so I pulled those out, and then everyone who was running flags held up a sign, and it was kind of messed up, but... Well. So, like nobody knew like what they were asking but I kind of had an idea because my friends told me that Nick was asking me but then like it said Esile so I guessed it was me and then like um then he said like at least homecoming or whatever and I was like yeah. Were you nervous at all? Uh not really I was pretty confident about it. You didn't think she was gonna say no or anything? Uh how'd you feel were you like happy excited? I was really happy it was really cute. <laughs> That's good so you're looking forward to it? Jackson, how did you ask Sailor to homecoming? Um, I put a poster board and around it I put uh, a heart of solo cups and in the solo cups I put lights and then the poster said, uh, don't let me go solo, be my date to homecoming. And yeah. So. Um, how did you feel when he asked you? Um, I felt like, I don't know, it made me really happy because I was totally surprised and I came home and he was like outside and I didn't know like my entire family was like behind the car and they were like videoing it and I don't know, it just made me feel like really like happy and like, I don't know. It was just like a good moment to just like be there and like not know that it was gonna happen. Dr. Pullman, how was your high school homecoming? Well, it was a long time ago, uh, but it certainly didn't have the homecoming proposals that students are used to today. Um, unfortunately, I was never even asked to a dance. So for those of you that don't get asked to the dance, you're gonna survive and be just fine. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.